We are rolling. Tell me your name, please. Okay, my name is Tim Richards. And the person we're talking about today is? It's Thomas E. McMillan. He was a uh, relative of mine. He was a member of one of the very first uh, bomber crews in uh, World War II, and he was a radio, radio operator in the uh, 306th Bomber Group. And we have a photo of him. This is Tom right here. Um, the uh, call sign for this particular their bomb squadron was more pork, so that somebody had a sense of humor there. Um, Tom uh, started flying his missions on uh, October 9th, 1942, and the very first mission they flew on, they were attacked by 50 uh, German FW-190 fighters on a return mission from the bombing mission. And Tom's particular plane, uh, they shot out the number two engine, and on the way back, uh, two more engines started overheating, and they lost altitude, and they was flying low over the English Channel, and a, a British Spitfire pilot um, noticed they were in trouble and he flew in and the radio was actually shot out to communicate with him. And uh, the Spitfire pilot waved his wings and motioned to follow him and he guided them back to a base along the coast of England there so that they were able to make it back without uh, having to ditch in the English Channel. And uh, luckily they did make it back because once they landed they found out that the life rafts of the plane had been shot full of holes by the uh, German fighters. So that was their very first mission of indoctrination into the uh, Yeah, tell me about, about the plane. <clears throat> The uh, particular plane was one of the very first uh, 300 BS-17s put into action in World War II. Uh, this is the ground here, crew here painting um, the name of the horse on the plane. Um, I found out from a, doing documentation that um, each one of the engines was named after a horse that the man of war sired. A um, number of the famous horses was uh, Sea Biscuit, the movie Sea Biscuit. That's one of the horses that the man of war sired and War Admiral and uh, Whirl Away was another one, but all the engines had a name on them. When I first saw this photograph, I saw that name on that engine, and I didn't know what it was, or I noticed no other B-17s had a name on it, or a writing on the engine cowls like that, and I found out from uh, research that uh, the ground crew had named all the engines after other horses that uh, the man awards sired. And you said uh, this sort of inspired a movie then? Yes, this movie also, or this Bomber Squadron also uh, inspired the movie uh, 12 O'Clock High, uh, starring Gregory Peck. It was filmed in uh, 1949 or 1950. And a TV series during the 60s. It was called uh, 12 O'Clock High. Which came from, okay, which 12 O'Clock High uh, comes from the uh, call signs the crew would use from when the German fighters were attacking them. So 12 O'Clock High was up high in front of them. And the German fighters uh, developed a strategy from attacking from the front and shooting at the uh, engines and the pilots. Tell me briefly, you've done a lot of research into this. What has it been like to dig through uh, all of these codes? It's really, it's, well, it's, it's been long and difficult, but uh, thankfully to the Internet, there's lots of people there willing to help you, and uh, it's just amazing. I mean, nobody in my family knew any of the facts about Tom's crew, what, where he's based at in England, and didn't know how long he flew or fought in the war. It just uh, a few relatives passed away, knew a little bit, and I was able to get a little bit of information from a few relatives uh, before they had passed away. But um, also, the mission that Tom was uh, shot down on, on November 9th, um, it was a famous mission. It, in the movie 12 O'Clock High, they talk about it, it was an experimental mission where they flew in right along the water and they shot up to 8,000 feet and then dropped their bombs and they're trying to get accuracy and penetration into these uh, submarine pens that had 12 foot of reinforced concrete above them and the high level bombing missions wasn't effective in getting through there so they experimented with a low level mission and uh, they, Tom's bomb group lost uh, three planes during that permit, that mission so um, they stopped that, that was the end of the low level uh, experimental missions to bomb uh, submarine bases.